everybody and welcome to my channel or welcome back to it if you haven't been here before. My name is Gabriella. I'm a freelance photographer and model in the Metro Detroit and Los Angeles area. And Los Angeles area. What I'm going to be doing today is something that I actually saw is kind of like a TikTok trend right now. Um, so this video is going to be actually a behind the scenes of me carrying out, I guess, that TikTok trend. So one of the videos that I saw first that went viral is from a user named and what he is doing is he is photoshopping himself into famous celebrities like paparazzi photos or into their like album arts or whatever. So what I'm going to do today is find a photo that I want to photoshop myself into and I'm going to take you along for the process in doing that because sometimes compositing can be pretty hard and so the lighting is going to be the most important thing. So I want to take you guys behind the scenes and hopefully me recreating one of these uh, style TikToks. The photo that I'm going to start with is one that I think will be a little bit easier to replicate because of the strong flash. Um, that's actually a little bit easier to replicate than one might assume it is, but the photo I'm going to try to insert myself into is right here. What's nice about this specific picture is that it's clearly taken with a flash at night, so it'll be easy for me to shoot this just in my studio room in my apartment because I'm going to be cutting myself out from the background anyway. I can just use my on-camera flash and get this same effect. So let's go find something to wear and set up the studio. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do before I get started doing anything is I'm going to charge the batteries for my on-camera flash. I literally never use this, so I'm kind of excited to have an excuse for it, and I'm low-key getting more into the look of like flash photography, so I just have the newer NW680 and some rechargeable Duracell, Duracell, <laughs> rechargeable Duracell batteries that I'm going to charge up while I fix the studio area so I can shoot this. So I have the studio all set up here and by set up, I mean, I just cleaned it out. Um, I kind of had like in my closet, like the perfect outfit to wear to kind of match Rihanna's like PJ look. So just a simple silk robe, silky shorts and a silky top. And of course the iconic glass of wine. Um, shoes wise, I don't have the feather top shoes, but I do have these. So I'm just gonna wear those. So now I'm just waiting for the AA batteries to finish charging. So that way I don't get like four shots in and then I have to wait. So when the time is right, I will pop the camera back on and we will start shooting this and hoping for the best. I think if I stay here, and I just kind of, I'll probably end up compositing a couple pieces together. The first one will be like just the step here. The second one will probably be like a little like whoosh in the, in the robe, just because it'll be easier for me to, I guess I could do both at once, we'll just see. But I might end up compositing because I'm gonna have wine in the one hand, so we'll just have to see how it goes. It's extremely dark, so I don't know if you're gonna be able to see anything, but you will be able to see when the camera flashes. This is the first test that I took. It's kind of hard to see. It's not that overexposed in camera, but my M50 is trying to account for how dark it is in here right now. So I'm going to fix how the camera's kind of laid out here so I don't cut off my feet and keep it moving. Please don't turn off, please don't turn off. Okay. All right, so I need to turn a timer on because I can't have this in my hand. I'm trying to use the touch, the Canon app. There we go. Okay, that's pretty close. I think I need to back the camera up a little bit because I'm still cutting off my shoes a little bit. I don't want that. Alright, I need to make my hair look a little fluffy like Rihanna's. Alright, hopefully that looks big and fluffy enough. I can't see it at all, but let's hope for the best. 
Just realized how hard fluffy hair is gonna be to cut out, but it's okay, it doesn't matter. It's a challenge for a reason. Like one or two more, but honestly, I don't know if you'll be able to see this because it's so bright. Can't really, camera's like trying to, but I think we're basically there. I'm gonna do a couple more just in case. I think the flash is like a little bit too off to the side, which I can't, oh yeah, that might help. I just clicked it one more towards me, so maybe that'll fix it. Because the hardest thing about compositing is making sure that the shadows are similar. That's like the biggest tell of like when you're compositing something is always the lighting, it's almost always where the shadows are. Honestly, I think we have something to work with here. I think that will be good. We have quite a few options to pick from and I might be able to, I might be able to just composite some together. So I'm gonna go dump this, it smells terrible. And we're gonna go to the computer. So as you can see, I am back at the desk and I'm going to start editing this photo together. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably just gonna either rub my webcam or just time lapse my way through it. And you guys can kind of watch what I'm doing while I do it. So let's see if I can successfully add myself to this iconic photo of Rihanna. Can I like it? You know I'm down with you the nicest Nobody touch me in a right this Nobody touch me in a crisis I believe the only in dreams and duration You took my heart and my keys and my patience You took my heart and my sleeve for decoration Stay coming up, I brought for you for foundation All that I wanted from you was to give me something that I never had Something that you never seen